Hello everyone, I'm Amber. Uh, I'm coming to actually put a series on. Um, it's about cleanup for the end of 2016 going into 2017. So after this little introduction, I will be pulling a few cards on things that each sign would need to just clear up going into the new year. So it all started, I actually got almost like jolted out of my sleep in the middle of the night um, to meditate on the upcoming year. Because I don't know if you all have noticed, but the energies have been really strange in that everything that you thought you knew on a soul level, um, like to be completely true, as far as like relationships, soulmates, twin flames, career choices, don't seem to actually be coming together for one reason or another, kind of leaving you feeling frustrated and not knowing that um, if it will happen, not really trusting your intuition. And this is because December, early January is all about releasing like old thought processes giving you more freedom to move towards the things that fulfill you on that spiritual whole level. Um, it's all about working towards the greater good, your best future, you know. And 2017 will be about letting old ideas and things go that kept you in bondage from starting your new prosperous beginnings in 2017. So the promise for 2017 is about drastic breakthroughs in situations that seem to be stagnant or hopeless or leaving you feeling pessimistic about them. Um, wishes coming true and you being successful in your destiny or fate, whatever was meant to be, is being jolted into action from the things that you released at the end of 2016, beginning of 2017. Um, and it's it's wishes like things that you felt it has to be by divine hand only that these things will ever happen for me. And then boom, they happen. Um, it's more like that. So this leads me to pull in the cards. So I was basically led to do this series, to pull these cards for things that you need to clear up, to bring to your attention, to clear up, so that you can be free to work to your best abilities or heights for 2017. So these wishes and you know, allow your destiny to come in smoothly. So, I will be pulling cards. Thank you for listening. Hello, Aries. Let's pull your cards. You have the magician. The fool. and the hermit and the strength card wanted to fall out on the bottom of the deck being your overall energy will be the knight of wands so I put that up there that's like the residual energy that spirit wants you to pay more attention to So this is immediately telling me that there's something that you want to act upon. I feel lots of energy in this spread. There's something that you need to move on. Um, the problem is it's in your hands. It's in your hands and you're a little frightened to make the move. You need to be strong um, and use that inner strength that you have. But I feel like you're being held back by something. 
and I'm feeling it's past energy I'm feeling that it's past energy and there's a need for movement this overall feeling here is the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Wands is all about passion and energy and adventure and risk and most and so is the Fool card um, it's all about taking that risk the thing is Aries you have the knowledge I feel like you've been stepping back from things and going within and you have the knowledge it's almost like you're holding on to it you're not acting upon it and this is all about you using what you've learned and making the move letting go of the fear that you have and stepping into that energy that is you you are wands so and I'm going to pull a wisdom of the oracle card for you as well And your card is Regeneration. Regeneration is all about rebirth, second chances, and new opportunities. Second chances are available to you now. Whatever opportunities you thought were dead are now revived in a more authentic, stronger form. Whether you may have perceived as a failure or loss is now being replaced by something better and more powerful growing in its place. This rebirth is assured. Step into your new life. Destiny is being fulfilled in wondrous ways. Aries, take this risk because it's moving you into your destiny. This is what this is all about. Please take the risk. Don't be frightened. It's not like an Aries to be frightened. You are very strong and courageous. You have the knowledge. You've been directed. Just make the move. Alright, thank you for listening. Bye.